What's up, my name is Manny, and today I'm gonna to be showing you the difference between the most common types of mechanical keyboard switches. And yes, there are more to these than just how they sound, but I know a lot of you probably just wanna hear how they sound, so here's a quick sound test. If you appreciated me not talking for 10 minutes before I did a sound test, please leave a like. So why use a mechanical keyboard? Well, whether you're using your computer for gaming, for work, or whatever, a mechanical keyboard can give you a far better experience than a cheap membrane keyboard. They beat out your usual keyboards in things like comfort, accuracy, and even lag in some cases. And with tons of customization options, you can make a mechanical keyboard look, sound, and feel just how you like it. So let's dive deeper into the differences between these switches so you can decide which one is right for you. So today we're gonna to be taking a look at the three most common types of switches. And these particular ones are from a popular brand called Cherry MX. Now there are nicer, more expensive switches out there. There's more budget friendly switches out there than these, but this video is about the basics, so these will do fine. And as you can see, the color of the stem lets you know what type of switch it is, with red being a linear switch, brown being a tactile switch, and blue being a clicky switch. So what does that mean? Well, this red one is a linear switch, which means that it has a very smooth linear feel when you press the key. It just glides up and down when you press it and basically the only thing you're feeling is the spring inside. As far as sound goes, this switch has a medium noise level when typing. This switch is a very popular choice, especially amongst gamers. And it really does feel quite different from your typical membrane keyboard. But what if you don't like the smooth feel of a linear switch? Well, that's where the tactile switches come in. This brown switch is a tactile switch, which means as you press the key down, you will feel a little bump. Of course, some people really like the tactile bump, while others prefer the feel of linear switches. But in the end, it all just comes down to personal preference. This switch also has a medium noise level when typing. And finally, this blue switch is commonly known as a clicky switch. So when pressing a key, you will feel a strong bump and hear a loud click. So obviously this switch has a pretty high noise level and although the click is its main feature, it's also its main drawback. While many people like the sound of these clicky switches, when you are actually using them every day, the volume level can become an issue. They may bother other people at your workplace or in your home, and for streamers, the sound can interfere with your audio. So while these blue switches may sound cool, a lot of people usually end up settling for another switch. So which switch is right for you? Well, a lot of people say reds are good for gaming, browns are good for typing, and that blues are just too loud but it really is up to you and you should try them out yourself to see which ones you like. And no, you don't have to go buy three keyboards to do this. Uh, some stores have keyboards on display so you can try them out, although in my experience they're a little hit or miss. But you can also get a switch tester. These have a bunch of switches in them so you can see how they all feel. Then just pick your favorite one and get a keyboard with those in it. And you may have noticed that some of these switch testers have a lot more than three different switches in them, which brings me to my next point. These three are just the basics. Now, yes, most switches are some sort of linear tactile or clicky switch, but there are tons of variations out there. For example, let's say you really like the feel of Cherry MX Brown switches, but you wish there was a bigger, more noticeable tactile bump. Well, Glorious Pandas are one of the many switches that do that. Or let's say that you like Cherry MX Red switches, but you still think your keyboard is a little bit too loud. Well, then you can check out Cherry MX Silent Reds. Or let's just say you're into competitive gaming and you just want all the best equipment possible. Well, there are optical switches which offer lower lag and various other switches that have a shorter travel distance for each keystroke. But real quick, make sure you get a hot swap keyboard. That way you have the freedom to quickly and easily pull out and replace your switches whenever you want. And I also want to mention that the switch isn't the only thing that affects the sound of a keyboard. The build and materials of the rest of the keyboard matter too. So for comparing these three switches today, I'll be using three identical keyboards. That way the only sound difference you're gonna hear is gonna be coming from the switches. 
All right, so with all of that out of the way, I will be wrapping up this video with the back-to-back -back typing sound comparison. So if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to leave a like, and I'll see you in the next one.